Grab your purse, put your blue jeans on. We're going out tonight. We're gonna have a little fun. Reservations for two in the drive room. We got the radio on to our favorite song. We drive around town, see what's going down. We, 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 we had a little language. That's our we communication. Were talking, mm, back and forth to each other. Like <laughs> the cinema on six says it's sold out. Take a walk on the streets and laugh our brains out. I never thought that I would see the day that I met you. I know it's true. Falling for you. Falling for you. Skipping work and ditching friends. They tell me that you're the reason I'm a changed man. I stay up on that. On the phone when you're at home, I can't say it slow. I buy you flowers, write your name in the sand, talk about you all the time. Makes my friends so mad. I'm watching chick flicks, listening to sappy songs. It's like a sickness I can't seem to get my hands on. We didn't really have get my hands like a first moment or whatever because I went to SGA in the first grade and so we just knew each other. In my mind, I know it's time to settle down and meet someone new and it's you I fell into you I fell into you tell your girlfriends well, I'm a good man. I make you laugh all day, and I always hold your hand. But because sometimes, well, I got Kofi. I put him on the legs when we're trying to go to sleep. And, and when I wake up, it's not a pretty sight. My hair's all messed up, and the blankets are on your side. But, but I don't mind, because it's your faith that I adore. I'm going to be with you. To the days are through. Middle school, we became friends more so. I guess I recall us in middle school being pretty close friends and just gradually became even closer and closer. And I was more of like a guy's girl, so I was always hanging out with the guys. And um, so with him and all his friends. You I fell into. We became really close in high school. We sat by each other in Ms. Judy Jordan's technology class in the library. And we started... She wasn't very interested in me as far as girls liking boys' ways. Yeah, I had another boyfriend. I had a softball game, and um, a, a crew of us ate at what's now G's Pizza on the square in Cockwood. And um, I mean, it, Russ was there, and all of my friends had played softball, and then this new guy I was, I was <clears throat> talking to. Number one, I went to Hardy's, went to the bathroom, and uh, <laughs> left and didn't go back. Left them eating, didn't eat. And so I went back to Arlington, and before I could even get to Arlington, she called and wanted to know what was wrong with me, why I was acting like that. And I told her, and I was already at the point where I could tell her I had to go to the bathroom. And, uh, but the other reasons, I just didn't like y'all being together. Uh, and that was probably out of left field for her. And then, lo and behold, the next week she asked me to go to a Georgia game with her and her Family. So we went and stayed with her Uncle Jeff, and uh, it kind of got kickstarted from there. Like, I guess leaving the game, and I think you held my hand on the way out. I think that was because it was really crowded, and so we didn't want to lose each other. But he still held my hand. Yeah. yeah. And then 
from then on, like, I don't know, we were already close at school, so people, it wasn't odd for us to be hanging out or with each other, because we always were with each other. But then it slowly just became a little more and a little different, not, you know, on a different level. Let's pretend we're alone, and I know you may be scared, and I know we're unprepared, but I don't care. Tell me, tell me what makes you think that you are invincible. I can see it in your eyes that you're so sure. Please don't tell me that I'm the only one that's older. Our grand plan was for both of us to go to Georgia Southwestern for two years, transfer to Georgia, and then, you know, be up there together. But, um, thanks to me, that didn't all work out. So I broke up with him the first time, and Russ likes to claim that we got back together a second time, and then he broke up with me, but that didn't happen. He just felt like he needed some retaliation or something, but that didn't happen. But um, I was still in Statesboro, he was in Athens, but there came a point where I was either going to Athens every weekend or coming home, because he was coming home. And then we just kind of slowly worked our way back to a point where we were literally like, all right, so what's the deal again? You know, kind of the same thing as it was. Are we, are we going to be like official? Not that that would change anything. So who do you wish could be there to be here to see you get married but can't be? Definitely all my grandparents. Well, mom's my daddy, for sure. I spent a lot of time with him when I was little. And my, my dad's dad, and he, he would, uh, Definitely approve, yeah, and he, he did met approve. He, he he met her. Been, we've been together for so long, but yeah, I, I would wish they were here. And my granny Ruth, so uh, all three grandparents. That, yeah. yeah. Uh, my my mom's grandmother, so Annette Chandler. She's granny to me. She passed um, about two years ago. Um, <laughs> my mom's brother, uh, Jeff. He and his wife Angel, Jeff Eason. They had twin girls, Megan and Macy, and um, Macy passed when she was five, so back in, I think, 2004, five-ish, um, she had a rare form of uh, childhood cancer, and she passed, and so now her, her twin is going to be a bridesmaid, so, you know, I'd love for her to be there and share, but she'll be there, just not this way. Headed down south to the land of the pine Thumbing my way to North Carolina Staring up the road and pray to God I see headlines I Made it down the coast in 17 hours Picking me a bouquet of dogwood flowers And I was hoping for Riley I could see my baby tonight I just recently started work at Damascus Peanut and every year we go on a, a trip to the beach. It's the uh, Southern Peanut Growers Convention and it was at Edgewater. Well, we went and uh, I had plans of buying the ring down there and giving it to her down there. And uh, Jason and Ashley, and uh, they were there and they rode in the seaweed, marry me. Anyway, I, I, I got down on the knee right quick like because you know, I was already shaking, and, and she looked over there, and she was, you know, like, oh, my God. And I pulled the ring out, and she snatched it, because I was shaking like that. You know, and she thought I was going to drop it off the balcony. Yeah, so he stood up, you know, and he said something sweet. He was nervous, and by this time, I'm crying, he's crying. I'm in my pajamas still, my hair's wet, and I'm in a towel. But um, 
Yeah, and so at that point, we're just like, oh my gosh, you know, now what? Since high school, we've not really been in the same, the same town, but I don't know. We just made it work, I guess.